It's another loot crate. We have the November loot crate here, and it's the magical month. There are many loot crates like it, but this one is mine. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. We are here to open up a brand spanking new loot crate, fresh off my porch from this afternoon, unexpectedly sent. I, I had a little bit of trouble with the uh, tracking link this time. They didn't send out the email on time, and unfortunately, I didn't get the email until I had to email support in order to get it. And it was already at the local Austin office. So it was kind of a nice little surprise that it was already here. But I did have to do a little bit of legwork in order to find it. Anyway, before we get started with this month's crate, a little bit of a correction from last month. I did a little bit more digging with these uh, Freddy Krueger chopsticks. If you remember, we got some Freddy Krueger chopsticks in last month's loot crate. And I said, oh no, you can't take them uh, out of the hand and so that kind of nullifies their use as chopsticks. Turns out, yes you can and it actually makes a delightful little popping noise as well and so you can actually use them as a pair of chopsticks and then you go back and forth. So uh, yeah, a little bit of a correction there. Sorry uh, Loot Crate for getting that product description wrong but hey, it's all fixed in the end. So without any further bother, November's Loot Crate. I already uh, took off the, the, the plastic on the outside here, so let's go ahead and open her up. And we see a rack of potions on the outside of the box. That's pretty cool. That's going to be fun. Ooh. Looky, looky, a little cute figure of Doctor Strange. Huh. Can we get a good shot of that? Nope. Of course. There, that's much better. That's much better. Look at that. That's super cool. Let's go ahead and open this guy up. You see the... Uh, Boxing on the outside, the artwork is really, really great. It's got Doctor Strange in his wonderful spell weaving poses. And it is a Loot Crate exclusive item, incidentally. Until possibly they decide to sell it later on, but I doubt it. Come here, baby. Oh, oh, that's pretty nice, actually. I know exactly where he's going to sit. So it actually has a pretty good size base. I'm going to say about uh, two and a half inches there pretty good size fits just squarely on the palm of your hand it's about the size of a coaster about your standard coaster uh and if you were one of those who played a whole lot of hero clicks or um oh god what's the uh is it warhammer the tabletop game that has like thousands of dollars worth of figurines you could probably model that into something if you wanted to get a little bit weird with it but i like that i like that a lot that is a really really cool figure and he's gonna sit right there for the rest of the video and so next up we have the loot pin from Elder Scrolls Online, which is actually a really cool. Oh my God, that's a badass looking pin. Um, as per usual, the pins are made with nice solid materials. And let me get up close. There's the design for the loot. There's the design for the loot pin itself. I just realized I had to kind of yell backwards toward the microphone. There's the design for the loot pin itself. It's very cool. It's that. Um, kind of three-headed dragon Ouroboros that they love to do so much with the uh, with the design and so as we well know the code will go uh, in in the chat for somebody to have here in just a little bit the pin on the other hand goes right here with his brethren and actually fits really really well all the pins these last couple of months have been nice and circular and so they they kind of look really nice all stacked together like that Anyway, let's see what else we have here. Ooh. Oh, that's awesome. That's actually super dope looking. Uh, so we have a Game of Thrones notebook here. But it's not just a regular notebook. It's actually a pretty nice uh, leather and or faux leather cover notebook. Eh, let me pull the plastic off and I'll show you what it says. It has the uh, lovely red binding on it, which is great if you want to kind of keep it safe. It says... The night is dark, and on the back, and full of terrors. Now, how awesome is that? That is a pretty neat notebook, and it's got uh, some good stock paper on it. It has red edges on the actual paper, which, of course, is uh, kind of a leafing edge. You can see it fade as we fan through the, uh, the, the pages themselves. And each individual page has a thing for the weather, and also what date it is, and memo number, and also date. That's a neat little journal. I like that a lot. And it also has a bookmark to it, in case you want to keep your place. Oh, what am I doing? That doesn't go over there. That goes ha. 
right there on display. Excellent. I like that a lot. And then our next item here is, oh, uh, an exclusive comic. It is a crossover of Big Trouble in Little China and Escape from New York. So basically, Kurt Russell's dream role where Kurt Russell gets to play across from Kurt Russell as Kurt Russell out Kurt Russell's Kurt Russell. So uh, that's kind of a neat little thing. I know some of these exclusive comics can, uh, can be quite, well, A, good comics, but B, uh, exclusive because people tend to kind of throw them away and they get to uh, uh, be a little bit more collectors than you would think. I look forward to reading that. So he's going to sit right there. And then uh, up underneath that is, of course, the guidebook to the magical. We'll get that in just a moment. The final item, saving the best for last, is, of course, the T-shirt. And this month's T-shirt is no different. It is from Fantastical Beasts and Where to Find Them. And it says, Become an Obliviator, recruiting now, every half moon of the month. And the wonderful little Phoenix logo with MAC USA down at the bottom. Now that is pretty great. That is an awesome t-shirt. You know me. I really don't, um, I have a thing against big broad logos, but this is just obscure enough. It's like my, my Save the Daleks t-shirt. I don't know if you've seen that in our various streams. It's just enough of a, of a fan item that if you know it, you know it. And if you don't, eh, you know what? It's just a neat little shirt. And of course, it's made from that same awesome, soft, pliable heather material. And is our tradition, it's time to put the shirt on. So we're going to go ahead and take this one off. You'll notice I decided to wear the, um, the Stark uh, uh, Racing t-shirt to begin this video with. And there we are. As per usual, it's a nice comfy wumpy fit and it feels very good against my smooth and silky skin and uh yeah yeah i really really love these loot shirts like honestly new t-shirts have been the best part of these loot crates so far and i hope that they keep up and as you can ooh, huh look at that i have my official loot crate membership card that's pretty cute i will keep that nice and safe and the box itself when we take it apart Hip. Looks like it becomes a little magical chest that you're able to keep all your potions in. It says magical down on the bottom. And then I assume when you uh, fold it back as you normally would, it makes this entire magical cabinet for you to be able to keep your curios in and things. That's, that's pretty neat. <laughs> I'll put that together a little bit later on. So let's take a look through the magazine here. Fa Magical, November 2016. Test your Fantastic Beast knowledge. Exclusive interview with magicius, uh, magician slash illusionist Joseph Rowan. Oh, that's pretty neat. And then prep for the holidays with the Looter Gift Guide. Um, okay, and so here is the instructions on the box. You actually do just, uh, in fact, construct it inside out, and you kill yourself a box. A Magical Curios box. And then, of course, the strange artifacts to tell you a little bit about the strange Q figurine there, of course, uh, a little bit more information about that and a little bit of context about the movie itself. As well as, uh, yeah, the three items that make a wizard. Uh, the Eye of Agamotto, the Wand of Watum, and the Cloak of Levitation. I still haven't seen Doctor Strange yet. I know, I'm a bad nerd. I'm a bad nerd. I still haven't seen Doctor Strange yet, and I want to. And then, of course, a little bit more Fantastic Beasts and where to find them, as well as a delightful little quiz with uh, questions about some of the magical creatures, such as the, the Acromantula originated in the dense jungles of Brazil, Borneo, or New Guinea. And I'm going to guess Borneo, just because that is just weird enough of a place for, for some creepy acro spiders to be from. Uh, and then an ad for the South Park Loot Crate, as well as the WWE Loot Crate, if you're into those sort of things. Religion in Game of Thrones. This is a neat little featurette that goes with the uh, Game of Thrones notebook about the various gods in Game of Thrones. The old gods, the seven gods, the drowned god, the great stallion, the lord of light, the many-faced god. Oh my, this is actually really neat reading. I am going to enjoy digging into this later on as somebody who is uh, kind of saddened by the fact that Game of Thrones isn't going to come back till March. March? Is it March or is it May now? Oh my god, I can't even remember. They keep pushing it back so far. And then there is a Kurt Russell crossword. That's kind of awesome. A crossword, uh, crossword crossover, Kurt Russell edition. And it actually goes through with uh, questions about Kurt Russell and his various career. And that goes along, of course, with the Big Trouble in Little China comic. 
uh, the Imperial Collector's Pin to redeem your Imperial uh, Edition upgrade code. Oh, what? That's kind of cool. So this pin, uh, it seems like, actually upgrades your Elder Scrolls Online game to the Imperial Edition. Neat. So yeah, I'll give that away here in just a few minutes. Uh, then we have an ad for Gears of War 4 and, of course, the Gears of War 4 loot crate that goes along there. For those of you who are into the, uh, the, the, the runny-gunny shooters. And, of course, the uh, interview with Joseph Rowan, magician and illusionist. There he is, levitating three light bulbs, looking menacing. That goes on for a couple of pages. The most magical coin trick ever. Oh! It actually shows you how to do your own kind of coin, uh, uh, coin illusion. Tricks are something that whores do for money. <laughs> and it also has an ad, of course, for loot undies. Something that I would try, but that would be a little obscene as I actually try them on live on camera. Um, let's see. Then we have the Loot Greats 2016 Holiday Guide. Showing off a few things that you could get your most beloved ones, including an Adventure Time Watch, Harley Quinn's Mallet, uh, I believe that's a Wonder Woman comic or a poster. Oh, that is a badass Wonder Woman poster. Let me see if I can get that a little closer. And then, of course, some um, uh, uh, a nice, lovely bow tie for your most beloved dapper friend. Some Star Wars pins. Uh, bitch, better have my money clutch. And oh, what's my finger hiding? I think that's a USB stick of some kind. And of course, Marty McFly's hat from Back to the Future. And those are all neat gifts, and they show their prices. And where to find them, of course, is lootcrate.com. Uh, and the next page shows, oh my god, that's awesome. Um, a Voltron series ring, which looks pretty badass. And then, let's see, the Assassin's Creed guillotine scarf, uh, Spider-Gwen, Hawkgirl statue, Steven Universe gems and stars cardigan, uh, the, oh my god, the Fallout 111 jumpsuit and the Final Fantasy 15 figure all available online for you to purchase. And with that, the small gift crate and the Assassin's Creed movie are advertised, as well as a few featured looters showing off their various wares. Nice that they uh, give a little bit of love back to the fans. And of course, speaking of, on the end of the book, it says, We love you. No, Loot Crate, we love you for giving us awesome things month after month for a very nominal fee. That's right, you can get stuff just like this by going to LootCrate.com and getting your own Loot Crate. There's actually a, um, a link for my own account down below. I don't have a code to give you a discount as of yet, but you know what? Hopefully someday in the future. At any rate, I hope you all enjoyed looking at this month's Loot Crate. We got some really great loot out of it. I, I, I really love this Game of Thrones notebook and, of course, the nice um, comfy, comfy and soft t-shirt and my new Doctor Strange figure that would take his place next to Brom. And so, ladies and gentlemen, with that, I'm going to say adieu for another month. We'll see you in December for the Holiday Loot Crate. Until next time, you've been watching this on twitch.tv slash Tim If you've been watching live or if you're watching this on YouTube, you've been watching this on youtube.com slash Tim My name is Tim Leftwich, and as always, we'll see you next time.